Hello. Today I want to talk about a new feature that some people have requested. Um, the idea is that you want to collect output from the workflows that is running inside your robot and you want to save it somewhere. Um, usually my recommendation has been to, you know, just use add to database or whatever that that will give you a log but i i get it that's clunky it's not really ideal um so i now added the option that you can collect whatever comes inside the logging tab as part of a workflow so i have a simple workflow here that has it, it has an argument of text it will uh, write out three right lines so we can see something happening um, and I have a simple workflow inside Node Red where I have a count uh, and I count that one up and I send a message with that count. Um, so if I run this one time, you will see that it ran. I have some console output down here. Um, you know, that's fine. So in case you haven't noticed, there's always been this status thing down here. And this is used for uh, tracking the state of the workflow and it was also intended to be part of collecting the console output which we now have <coughs> if you go to a project um, we can now on project level or workflow level we can now enable or disable uh, saving the output from a workflow and sending the output of a workflow to the caller in this case node red um, so if you look at send output first so if we go up here and we add a debug node um, like that and deploy and i run it you will see that i get two messages but these messages are not the console output these are actually the status from the workflow so if i change this to command and run it again you will see that first we get a success, which means that a robot has successfully picked up the workflow. So now we know what robot is running on in case you are sending to a role. And the completed message is just telling us that the workflow has completed and that is also what activates the top node. Um, so we are interested in, <clears throat> in uh, the type of... Uh, um, I can I spell switch? There we go. So we're interested in the command output. So this is where we get the output from the robot. But as you might know, if I run this now, I don't get anything because we're not sending the output. So if I go back here to the project and I click send output and I run it again, I now get the console output from the robot inside Node Red. So now I can pass that and do something with it or just keep an eye on what is actually going on inside the robot. Um, this will contain the entire payload. So if you had information from up here that is relevant for what robot is running on the payload, you have all of that for each of these messages. Um, another option you now have is that if we go into entities and we look at the open RPA instances, you can see each of the instances of the workflow that we ran. And if we go down here, you will notice that console is null. Console is a new property that will get added if you're running the latest version of the robot. And that will contain the console output if you enable save output. So if I run it again, you will see that if we go into the latest here, uh, There we go. You'll see that console now contains the console output, including level and timestamp. Um, level is <coughs> um, uh, arrow or warning or debug or whatever. Uh, basically, whatever you enable down here will get saved as part of the workflow, except network. Um, so no matter how much uh, you enabled, you will get that inside here, but it represents what is actually Oh my God, my dog has having a heart attack. <laughs> um, it represents what is actually shown inside here. So try and not enable everything. Um, and generally try not to enable save, uh, save output. It's gonna fill up the database really, really fast. And if you don't need it, don't save it. Enable it if you're troubleshooting or having issues. Um, 
this one with send send output is less harmful because you know openflow is built for handling tons of messages and we're just streaming the data around so that's not really all that that bad so you can safely leave that on if you are actually using it don't leave it on if you don't use it but if you are actually using it don't fear enabling that on a lot of robots um i hope this is helpful